Hey, it's uh Black Vader and or I am Michael. That's his channel. Um, I'm going to be going into um, reading the cult with Neely Fuller. Uh, I'm on page 87 today. Uh, the other day I read um, residential arraignments and other topics you can read within the um, my videos and everything. Maybe I'll put out, put out a playlist or something. Uh, I was thinking about like, you know, putting some images behind the things that I say and everything or um, even just using like images around what Neely Fuller says and just putting them on a channel and stuff. But um, I just wanted to get in the code, uh, like, comment, subscribe. You can get the, the code at producejustice.com. Um, the whole point is to replace the system of white supremacy with the system of justice. And um, I think it'll be great if everyone just do, do what they can, either cleaning, learning uh, something constructive or doing something constructive with other people that we can in the system of white supremacy or this racist system in general, this mob system, this crime system, this world uh, criminal boss organization with something more constructive. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get into it. I'm reading Dislocation on page 87. Um, dislocation, um, always be mentally... I'm oh, sorry. I like having music up. But always be mentally prepared for your circumstances to suddenly and without warning be dominated by extreme terror, great disaster, or disabling loss. Be mentally prepared for the sudden loss of all your material possessions and are all interaction with those people you prefer, you prefer to interact with. Explanation. Be, be prepared to move from one place to another in a short amount of time, taking with you all that, with you all you of your necessary possessions with little difficulty. Do not accumulate unnecessary possessions that are difficult to move. Study ways of making the best use of limited space. Instead of spending money in order to possess more space and more things that exist in the space around you, choose to use space and things available to you that do not require you to spend money for them. Hmm. Interesting. I read this before. It's always interesting to like to review and go over um, previous topics. During the existence of white supremacy, racism, white supremacist, racist men, and racist women collectively often do things that directly or indirectly force non-white people to move from one place to another. Sometimes suddenly, the white supremacists have made this action one of the basic requirements in their nomination and control of the non-white people of the known universe. They do this to keep people keep the non-white people stressed, confused, and out of balance in every area of activity. Sort of like the war with Ukraine. Even though Ukrainians and uh, Russians are beefing and that's white on white crime, like there's even black people who can't even leave those countries because of the racist di the diagram that's going on in these uh, in the world. Um, you know, when it all comes down to when two white people are beefing, and uh, they're still going to look at the nigger and be like, oh, you're you're not you're still less than so you're not gonna be able to move and um yeah so continue on to read be prepared to be forced to move from one place to another this location avoid this location but expect to be dislocated speak and act to avoid and pre prevent all direct and indirect elements to force coerce bribe or otherwise entice any other any another in order to directly or indirectly satisfy the requirements of white supremacist races. Explanation. Dislocation without compensation is one of the major deceptive plans periodically used by racist men and racist women against non-white people. This plan is intended to disrupt whatever non-white people may be doing that helps them to constructively help themselves. Dislocation can cause non-white people to lose something of established value for a promise of something of questionable value. This location most often causes non-white people to lose, exchange something of greater value, and gain something of less constructive value. This location is not the same as relocation. Relocation may or may not be for the ultimate purpose of producing justice. This location is never intended to produce justice and can only result in a production of justice by accident. Sort of like with Flint. 
moving on to uh, a majority 90% black people um, out of that state, you know what I'm saying, out of the country because of water or whatever, and just trying to get the people up out of there because black people are balling. The, 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 the industrial revolution put a lot of money in a lot of black folks' pockets in Michigan. I'm a product of that. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that the whole water situation hasn't been fixed, maintained, or whatever, yet we got fucking planes in the fucking sky, car, uh, airplanes, and, and, and rocket ships that go to the fucking moon. You can't fix no water on your fucking planet. It's annoying. Uh, excuse my language. But it's dumb. Always be prepared to be dislocated, however. When forced to dislocate, always ask for seek to obtain dislocation compensation. That's the plan. So if they want to dislocate you, how are y'all going to give me some money and get the fuck up out of here? Explanation. People who are powerless are sometimes forced to move from one place to another. Under racism, white supremacy, race, even with this Rona stuff, gas prices going up. That's going to force people to move out their houses. You know, they can't pay rent if gas and shit is way too freaking high. You know, it's it's insane. So, um, people who are powerless are sometimes forced to move from one place to another under racism, white supremacy, racist men and racist women. White supremacists collectively are the people who decide when and to what place non-white people will move. Under the system of white supremacy, non-white people are not allowed to move from one place to another in a known universe without the direct or indirect permission of, uh, of or direction from racists. Racist men and racist women can and do at will cause non-white people to move from one place to another. By having this power, they can and do control what non-white people eat and drink and how much and when. They decide the quality and quantity of shelter that will be available to dislocated persons. They can and do decide and or arrange the type and degree of conflict that result from their victims being forced to dislocate. Racist men and racist women know that when people are forced to move, those people often lose something of value that is not replaced with something of equal value. This is the functional definition of dislocation. The racists know this to be true. The racists know that they will benefit by causing non-white people to dislocate every now and then. They know that most forms of dislocation of their victims will result in loss and or confusion. The racists will know that they will nearly always benefit from any loss and or confusion that non-white people experience. Very little can be done to effectively oppose the powerful people when they decide to force the powerless people to dislocate. For that reason, it is important that a powerless, that a powerful people, racist, to seek the powerful people for dislocation compensation. The powerful people are not likely to grant what is asked but it, is, but it is important to ask. It is also important to keep a record of what was lost and what was asked for that would make up for what was lost. What is asked for should be of equal value spiritually, materially, etc. to what was forced, taken because of dislocation. Make one, of, make one or more of the following com compensatory counter statements. When talking about how non-white people are forced to move from one place to another in order to satisfy the desires and demands of white supremacists, racist men, and racist women collectively. One, when a person is forced from a place, the place is forced from that person. When a person is forced from a place, it is not relocation, it's dislocation. Because relocating is like, you know, you're getting something else. If you go from point A to point B, I own point A, but I lose point A, and, and I go to point B, and everything that was in point A uh, is at point B, then that is relocating. Dislocating is from going from point A to point question mark, question mark, without any of those things available to you or your people or yourself. Um, so number three, when a person is dislocated, he or she is entitled to receive dislocated dislocation compensation dislocation is not the same as relocation when a person is relocation he or she does not lose he or she gains 
That's true that I just said that. The only way to compensate for taking a place from a person at, or taking a person from a place of his or her choice is to give that person something or equal or greater value that is more acceptable than that place that was taken. There's no such thing as partial dislocation compensation. It is either dislocation compensation or it is not. Dislocation without dislocation compensation is subservient of the production of justice balance between people. Uh, let me see. And we're going to go into uh, black culture. Do not brag about, celebrate, or try to produce the so-called black culture either as it is in the past or as it is now, instead produce or in that compensatory counter-racist culture. And FBA, FBA is pretty counter-racist. Do this by thinking, speaking, and acting according to the selections for the compensatory counter-racist called a thought, speech, and action that is specifically designed to end the system of white supremacy and help produce justice. According to compensatory logic, culture is whatever is done and the effect of whatever is done. Uh, what you do, if what you do is your culture and a victim of white supremacy does not result in a, in a white supremacy and does not result in the establishment of justice balance between people, there is reason to believe that your culture, what you do, is worthless. Explanation. Ancient black culture proved to be inadequate in preventing the establishment of white supremacy. Modern black culture has so far proven to be none other than prim prim pitiful, primitive, stupid, silly, tacky, trashy, and or characteristic reaction to white supremacy racism. Question, which culture to the correct culture that should be practiced? Answer, the culture that ends racism, white supremacy, Two, guarantees that no person, creature, or thing is mistreated or misused. Three, guarantees that the person that needs help the most gets the most constructive help and best helps produce universal man and universal woman, people who are totally constructive. Notes, among the people of the known universe as it is today, any culture that does not do the aforementioned is not a correct culture. A correct culture is nothing other than a combined speech and action that has resulted in truth, that which is being revealed and used in such a manner as to have produced justice, balance between people, and correctness, balance between all people, creatures, things, etc. A correct culture does not yet exist. Question. What is the correct thing to say when someone talks about preserving so-called black culture or so-called white culture? Say, any so-called culture that has not replaced the system of justice is not worth preserving. A culture is not, notes, a culture is nothing other than a combination of whatever it is that people say, think, and do in all other areas of each other with all creatures with all things and all areas of activity. The most powerful, the most sophisticated, the most accomplished culture in the known universe is white supremacy racism. Mm, question. During the existence of white supremacy, what is the best and correct way to describe so-called black culture? Answer. Pr pitiful, primitive, stupid, and or silly. What part of so-called black culture should all the people of the known universe seek to copy? Answer, whatever is not pitiful, primitive, stupid, and or silly. Question, what parts of so-called white culture should all of the people of the known universe seek to copy? Answer, seek to know and understand everything about everything that needs to be known and understood. During the existence of white supremacy racism, the most important thing for a non-white person to study is the system of white supremacy, what it is, how it works. This study should include every major detail of, the, of its establishment, maintenance, expansion, and refinement in every area of activity. During the existence of white supremacy racism, the best and correct way to describe so-called white culture is white supremacy racism. When talking about your ancestors, say, my ancestors are whatever created me. Explanation. If a person 
does not know everything about everything. A person does not know who or what his or her ancestors are. There is reason to believe that all things known and unknown are interrelated in such a manner that all things known and unknown have an effect on all things known and unknown. Do not brag or speak in a degrading manner about your ancestors. Explanation. It is likely that you do not know or understand enough about your ancestors to brag about them and or speak to in a degrading manner about them. If you didn't know or understand enough about them, bragging about them or speaking to degrade them serves no constructive purpose. Notes, your ancestors, any person, spirit, etc. that existed before or during your existence. Your ancestor of ancestors is what ever created your first ancestors. When asked to tell about what your ancestors invented, say, my ancestors invented breathing or my ancestors invented me. And I was invented to solve problems as they are presented to me. When learning or teaching about things that have happened in the past, history, her, her story, or their story, etc., seek to know and understand what mistakes were made. Know the mistakes were made. How I mean, how the mistakes were made, and how to make the same as how not to make the same mistakes again. What to what to do now to compensate for the mistakes that were made and the results of those mistakes. Study, learn, and be willing to teach others and the three most important things that non-white people should know and understand about history. What white supremacy is, how white supremacy works in all areas of activity, education, economics, entertainment, economic, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, war, and counter-war. The mistakes that non-white people have made both before and during the existence of white supremacy. Exclamation. White supremacy has so far proven to be the most powerful, the most sophisticated, and the most efficient system of non-justice ever, ever produced by people in a known universe. Two, because white supremacy is non-just, it should not exist. By making a mistake of not knowing it, and not understanding what white supremacy is, how it works in all areas of activity. The non-white people of the known universe have not done their duty to correct the mistakes that non-white people have made and are making in their interactions with white people and in their interactions with each other both before and during the existence of white supremacy. Instead of merely trying to be remembered in the so-called history books, try to do and say things that will best help replace the system of white supremacy with a system of justice. Explanation. Your existence is proof enough that you are now, always have been, and always will be in a so-called history books of existence of non-existence. If being remembered by the general public after you are dead is important to you, say the following to yourself and say it often. If I am not remembered for solving problems without making any, I am probably not worth remembering. If I am not remembered for solving problems without making any, I am probably not worth remembering. If I am not remembered for solving problems without making any, I am not worth remembering. If I am not remembered for solving problems without making any, I am probably not worth remembering. If I am not remembered for solving problems without making any, I am probably not worth remembering. Question. When a non-white person dies due to the existence of white supremacy racism, where and how he should be buried? Answer. He or she be buried at the nearest, least expensive, and most convenient suitable place for burial, burial or, and or disposal. What rituals should be produced or preserved? Only those rituals which at the time that they are enacted help to guarantee that no person is mistreated and guarantee that the person who needs the, needs help the most gets the most constructive help. No so-called special day should be set aside for these rituals. What needs doing should be done at the time it needs to be done doing in order to produce the most constructive result. When someone asks you to participate in any activity, celebration, event, gathering, etc., ask him or her, what will be the con constructive result of my participation? Uh, as a non-white person, what are you correctly qualified to celebrate or brag about why you are subject to the system of white supremacy? Absolutely nothing. 
during the existence of white supremacy and according to the counter-racist, counter-compensatory, counter-racist logic, it is incorrect and illogical for any person to celebrate or brag about anything. The time and energy used to brag or celebrate should be used to produce justice, balance between people, and correctness, balance between people, creatures, things, etc. Wear the latest styles by wearing garments that you have. If your garments are clean, simple in design, and neat in appearance, they are always appropriate and always in style. Do not use too much time and energy managing your hair. Keep your hair in a condition or a leaf that is easy to maintain and groom and arrange in a manner that attracts a minimum amount of attention from others. Explanation. It is correct to use or per present hair body ornaments. It is incorrect to use or present hair body ornaments in such a manner to attract aw attention away from thought, speech, or action that is more constructive value. Avoid doing anything to your hair that is likely to attract attention or promote unnecessary reaction to the side of your hair. Avoid using your hair as a source of entertainment for general public or for the purpose of displaying it as a theater for focused observation, consternation, consternation, curiosity, amusement, or disgust. When you, when you desire the attention of others, ask yourself the important question. What are the logical and the constructive reasons that any person would want to pay attention to me? When, uh, when thinking about or talking about hate also thinking about think about mate when thinking and are talking about hate also think about and or make one of the following statements one hatred of people creatures or things is not just an incorrect two it is it is not correct to hate it is correct it is not correct to hate it is correct to correct that which needs correcting People who hate other people may also hate themselves. People who hate other people may become like the people they hate. Hatred of any people is not economical in regards to production of justice balance between people. Seek to have all white persons who have the same last name as yourself, family name, historical title, etc. to give you direct help in some or all of your financial, technical, or educational efforts. If you are a non-white person and you have the same last name as a white person, it could mean that you are acquired the name as a result of racial slavery and the more undistinguished and direct form of white supremacy more undisguised oh and direct form of white supremacy negro slavery racial slavery white supremacy is a more direct and undisguised form was was most directly profitable to some or all of the white people who now have or once had the same or similar name to the name that you use or have used it is correct to seek any record and or evidence of any name connection, title connection, possession connection between yourself and any white person, whether direct, current, or historic. Hmm. I gotta think about that. It is correct for you to ask such persons to permit you to share in whatever benefits, profits, possessions, etc. that they have received as a direct or indirect result of racial slavery, white supremacy. This is one of the correct things to do to pre better promote the law of compensation, justice and correctness in economic matters. 86. Yeah, I guess I'll read the rest. The, um, do not speak or act as if music is either so-called black music or white music. Speak and active, act as if any sound either helps you and or others think, speak, or act constructively or destructively. Practice listening to and enjoying only those sounds that help you to think in a manner that produces a constructive result. 
explanation in regards to people, it is best and correct to judge the value of a sound that is produced or promoted by people by the effect that sound has on the ways that people think, speak, and act as a result of listening to that sound. What is the difference between music and noise? Music is a combination of the presence of sound and the absence of sound. So is noise. Sound helps to produce and maintain justice correctness. Sound can either be music or noise. So far, the sounds that have made that have been made by the people of the known universe have not resulted in the end of white supremacy, racism, nor have those sounds resulted in the end of injustice and incorrectness. Therefore, no people have so far produced any sounds, any place in the known universe that is qualified for the title of music. So it's just music and noise. Music, sounds, noise. All the sounds made by the people have so far only qualified for title of noise. Music by people is yet to be produced. It is correct for all people to try to produce music. It is also correct to keep listening to the sounds that help them to think constructively. Question. When will it no longer be necessary to produce compensatory calls of thought, speech, and action when all problems have been solved? Summary, summary remarks about economics. Do not ex expect to accumulate money or great material comfort by working to replace the system of white supremacy with a system of justice balanced between people. Do expect to receive opposition and take personal risk. During the existence of white supremacy, if you have no way of legally supporting yourself, make a maximum effort to make contact with white people. If they have much of what you need, ask them to give whatever it is that you need most compensatory investment support in the form of money, food, shelter, health care, transportation, constructive information, etc. Explain to them that their gifts are compensatory investments in your future and theirs. Explain to them that they will receive a constructive return on their investments in the form of you being a person of constructive value and helping to replace the white supremacy with justice. Do not, under any circumstances, rob, steal, belittle, or tell lies to anyone to get any of the things that you want or need. Do your best to make sure that you that if you are put into greater confinement, jail, prison, etc., it will always be for the so-called crime of asking, begging white people for whatever it is that you need most that is of constructive value in helping you to produce justice. Always ask for constructive information when making your request. Always identify yourself as a person correctly qualified to be in a business of making a compensatory counter-racism investment request. Seek to find or and or to establish compensatory counter racist nuances niches. These are situations or conditions that exist during the existence of white supremacy that, for whatever reason, known or unknown, allow a non-white person to gain something of constructive value in a constructive manner, apparently in spite of or because of a minor calculated, non-calculated, or temporary so-called flaw in the system of white supremacy. Simplify and appreciate. Teach yourself to simplify and appreciate all the ways that you use your time and energy. Without spending money, teach yourself to appreciate all the pleasant and constructive sights, sounds, and feelings that you are exposed to in many everyday ordinary situations. Include as major profit the many things that you see, hear, and feel that you often do not recognize as being a worthy experience, worthy of being enjoyed for the moment, as well as being stored and revisited in memory over and over again. Seek to know and understand that many of the sights and sounds and spiritual movements in your surroundings are wor well worth remembering as pleasurable experience, sometimes far into the future. future. Teach yourself to value those things. Recognize that Worthy memories are great treasures that sometimes grow out of simple sights, sounds, experience, 
it's experience and experiences that at the time of happening may seem to be of little of no value. Teach yourself to value and appreciate many things that you ha- now have. Produce ways that to make the things that you have serve you or others more constructively. Seek to know and understand that it is often not necessary to use more time, energy, etc. to acquire more things. Avoid increasing the number of things that you may think you need. Be wary of people who try to increase your needs. Avoid situations that have the effect of increasing your needs. Avoid thinking that you must necessarily travel to distant places in order to acquire sight, sound feelings, and or experiences that may not be as valuable as situations that may immediately present, that may be immediately present or very near. Try to reduce greater strength in your body, legs, arms, hands, etc. Try to walk, move, climb, lift, and do more with your body in a constructive manner while also doing work that is of constructive value. Exercise your body by doing constructive labor. Avoid doing damage to your body by punching extra holes or carvings in it or by poisoning your skin with harmful chemicals. Try to reduce your dependence on manufactured means of motion, transportation, and or body support. Try to operate some type of constructive business activity at the same place that you have your place of residence. Try to make that business activity constructively useful to those persons who are in need of constructive help. Avoid acquiring possessions that you do not need, particularly if those possessions are often burdensome. Choose to do some constructive work for yourself rather than asking others to provide work for you. Choose to ask others to provide constructive work for you rather than beg for those things produced by the work of others. Try to compensate for whatever failures you have experienced. Practice being focused and persistent in learning what is best to do and say to replace the system of white supremacy racism with a system of justice, balance between people. Practice doing this every day in regards to whatever you do and say in all areas of activity. Never allow your desire for or your acceptance of fame, money, glory, or admiration of others to become more important than the assignment. The assignment of replacing white supremacy with justice. Do all that you can to speak and act in such a manner so as to not lose focus on the assignment. Do not worry about death being final or not final. Do not worry about being death. Do not worry about death being final or not final. Do not worry about death being final or not final. Do not worry about death being final or not final. Do not worry about death being final or not final. Instead, do something of constructive value each time with each time and space that you have been given. Think and speak and active if everything that you have access to, including yourself, is being a gift that should be used at all times to accomplish a constructive purpose. Do this until you are too weak in mind and body to continue and do this until the actual moment of death. As you proceed to your last moment of existence, try to tell others that you have learned that may, that as you proceed to your last moment of existence, try to tell others what you have learned that may be of constructive value. Think of your going into non-existence as being an accept as being as acceptable as your coming into existence. Particularly if it if all is done naturally. Expect that death can and will come to you and to others at any time and sometimes under circumstances not thought out seriously. Prepare your thinking so that you will not be surprised about the manner, place, and or time associated with death of any person, place, creature, or thing. Also expect death-making disease germs to exist as long as everything is not known and understood. Under the compensatory, uh, according to compensatory logic, it is correct to think that death, non-existence, should be expected as long as birth existence is expected. Both birth and death should be regarded as gifts that are both strange and sacred, as real as well as strangely familiar. <laughs>
I can't hold you, Neely. You're right. According to compensatory logic, it is correct to think that death non-existence. It is according to compensatory logic, it is correct to think that death non-existent should be expected as long as birth existence is expected. Both birth and death should be regarded as gifts that are both strange and sacred as well as strangely familiar. Choose to have your constructive work be your so-called monument, memorial, and or funeral ceremony rather than have an expensive or burning some funeral or burial ceremony. Choose to have money or energy spent up on some constructive product that you would have been trying to produce if you had con if you had continued to exist. Yeah, that's hitting. Um, this is all of economics. We've made it to page 100. We're going to start doing education now. Here we go. But um, I appreciate everyone for uh, involving themselves in the code during this far. Um, even if it's one person, if I'm able to, you know, help someone be on code and it helps me stay on code and that helps produce justice. And it's just a wave of destruction of white supremacy. And they can't beat us if we're trying this hard. There's too much of us. They cannot beat us. Um, so what I went over was economics. I went over dislocation, uh, not celebrating black culture if it don't help produce justice, music and sounds, and uh, the summary of uh, economics. So um, if you like the video, whether you like it or not, just like, comment, subscribe, share it if you need to. Thank you guys for watching this. I love everyone, um, white or non-white. You know, um, I don't hate anybody. I love everybody. And I appreciate the time you guys were willing to invest in me um, during this process. Um, I appreciate it all. Thank you. Peace.